Well, good morning, Aaron. I'm not sure if you remember, but the Acai Bowl truck used to have a food truck. I just said that, bowl truck. So they used to have um, a mobile truck, and they would drive around and be in different locations, but now they decided to set up right next to Steampunk Fortress. We're on Chester and 19th, and this is where they are now located, and they've actually upgraded a lot, including their menu. So I want you to see it from the outside so you can uh, make sure you keep that in mind. But take a look at this. It is decked out and it looks extremely trendy. I'm being told this is all uh, made by one of the owner's friends, but this is where you would sit down and eat some of your favorite healthy food snacks. Um, of course, the acai bowl, but they also, like I said, upgraded a lot of different things. So um, take a look back here. We have the owner, Justin, with a big smile on his face as always. Such a pleasure to see you. Oh, wait, how do I get in here? He, is that to keep customers out? I'm guessing so. So one thing that they've added, which I really like, is the coffee. Now we've had Rig City Roasting on our show before. Local, yes. actually I think he's from North Carolina, but he has relocated here. He does a lot of the uh, food markets. Yeah, he's at the farmer's markets. I like that. Okay, so now you can get your coffee here too. All right, do you roast it the same way he does? Uh, he comes and he roasts it and he drops it off weekly so it's fresh. Oh, that's nice. And we do, we do the pour over coffee for our customers. I like that. Okay, so I'm kind of tired. I know you are too. Would you mind making us a cup? Yeah, we can. <laughs> so you open at 10 o'clock, right? Uh, we op yeah, we open at 10 uh, now Monday through Friday. And then Saturday we do the market as usual. And we do the Sunday market at Kaiser. Permanente. So do you think for people who wake up early like myself and everyone else on the morning show, you might open your doors up a little earlier in the future? Yes, yes, we've, uh, we've had many downtown customers asked us to be open earlier, so our schedule will change. How soon are we talking? They've been here for about a month and uh, some change, right? Yeah, we've been open for about three and a half weeks, almost four weeks. Um, so I would say, well, with the winter coming, we have to see how we do, but uh, we definitely, our hours are going to be changing. Okay. So let's talk about this new location. Why did you pick here? Downtown, the, the heart of Bakersfield's downtown, and uh, for downtown is usually um, Parking is usually an issue downtown, and we have a, a great alley that has 30-minute parking, and we have a we have a back entrance, so we have two entrances off the street and off the alley, so a lot of our customers will park and will always find parking, and we'll be able to come and grab their bowls and either eat and leave or just grab and go. I like that. Okay, let's talk quickly about the menu because I know you have some new additions. So we have our Aussie bowls that a lot of people are familiar with. Yes. What about this? I don't remember seeing smoothies. I don't remember seeing the extras before. Yeah, we just added the smoothies. So we have an acai smoothie. We also have uh, a green smoothie, which we call the whole juice. It has a lot of uh, greens, kale, um, and then a protein shake. We also still have the pitaya. We have poke bowls, which is a Hawaiian bowl with ahi tuna and steamed rice. And then we are carrying, just like with um, the local coffee, we're carrying Granville drinks. They're all organic. Um, local um, fresh squeezed juices. So you're really kicking up this healthy food. Yeah. Um, a side note, this is a new addition. You can add bee pollen to your bowl yeah. if you want to. Yeah, on top of the bowls, we now have bee pollen, hemp seed, goju berry, chia seeds. Uh, so we're adding on a lot of healthy uh, toppings. For our bowls. So bee pollen helps with allergies. It also has a lot of protein, so I've learned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, helps with energy. <laughs> helps with a lot of stuff. So now we have our energy kick because we have our coffee made. Thank you very much. Stick with us. We're going to have more bowls, more food, more coffee, and more about this new location. We come right back right now, though. Erin, back to you. A lot of people Hi. have seen the name of this fruit in the stores but don't know how to pronounce it. So, Kalina, start off with letting people let know how to pronounce acai. He has got you covered. <laughs> He has got you covered because you know he probably has a lot of people coming in here going, can I get an asa bowl? Can I get an acacia bowl? Can I get that thing that's like fruity but I don't know what it is but it tastes really good? So it's acai and the whole definition, description, where it comes from and everything up on the wall too. This is 1914 Chester Avenue. It's in downtown and they have upgraded. So you know that mobile truck that was going around, the acai bowl truck? It's not here anymore. They're here. They're located right next to Steampunk Fortress, 19th and Chester. And look, we have a customer. It's not open right now though. So he is a friend of a friend of a friend. And um, what did you get? 
I got the real bowl uh, without blueberries today and uh, with peanut butter instead of bl blueberries. Where's the peanut butter? Peanut butter's underneath. It's all sticky and nice, keeping it all together. <laughs> so I, I remember when this first came out, you were saying how pretty it looked. Does it make you not want to eat it because it looks so pretty? Uh, not really, no, because <laughs> I know how good it tastes, so yeah, it's pretty easy to eat. <laughs> so how do you know Justin? Justin, um... We, we, we met just around town, um, training at different places. Um, he actually started coming to my gym, um, actually, actually selling us gear, so that's how I met him. And then you've been eating these ever since? Yeah, whenever he started uh, with the acai truck, yeah, I started seeing them all around town and started buying acai every, every chance I got. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love it. I've been teasing you enough so you can finally eat that. We brought it out a little while ago and I told him, you can't eat it until we go live. Okay, so come on over here. This is Justin, the infamous acai man who has uh, turned Bakersfield into an acai-loving town. Would you agree? Yes, it's growing slowly, but the people that love or know about it love it. I feel like everyone who will now know about it will love it. Yeah, they'll love it. They have to try it and they'll love it. So look, how much do you love acai bowls? There's a chalkboard where you can um, declare your love for it, what flavor you want, who else you're in love with. You can put quotes on there, your name. I like that, your idea? Yeah, my idea is so the customers will come in while they're waiting for their bowls, they'll sign their name. And as soon as that thing is completely filled up, we're gonna wax the top and then uh, that'll be a part, that'll be art for the uh, cafe as long as we're here. Oh, so we should write something for Eyewitness News. Yes, yes, that way we can be here a permanent fixture. Yeah, you gotta take a spot before it gets filled up. I like it. Okay, so we're running out of time again. Just a side note, we have, um, what, what is that? This is a strawberry lemonade from Granville Juices. It's uh, their fresh juice. They're a local um, farmer that actually does the juices. It's another new addition. New addition. With all the other new additions, side note, you can get uh, bee pollen. I think that's the most interesting thing on there. Bowls, smoothies, and then a bunch of other Aussie bowls. So stick with us because we're going to be making more stuff and hopefully feeding our customer and myself a little something. Uh, but right now, though, Aaron, back to you. It really is. It is delicious. And we have the owner right here, Justin. We're trying to wake him up a little bit. He's a, he's a little tired this morning. He doesn't like doing these early morning uh, shoots with us, but he's here. Which is great. We've already made coffee, Rig City Roasting. They go to the farmer's markets, and he is uh, brewing this, selling it here. So if you want a coffee fix in the morning, you can. They're open right now at 10 o'clock. What time do you close? 10 to 6, uh, Fridays at 8. Okay. But don't worry, because he's going to open up earlier, hopefully soon. I'm going to start a petition, and um, I'm going to really try to get you to open up yeah. early. Okay, so new additions on the menu. They have already have, uh, they still have their acai bowls, some of the ones that you're familiar with, the Brazilian, the Rio, the Powerhouse. But um, they've added smoothies to their list, and um, he made himself one earlier, this green machine. I'm going to call it. What's in that? Uh, that's kale, spinach, uh Pineapple, apple, zest, lemon, and ice. That sounds delicious. Okay, so what are you going to make now? Uh, we're doing the uh, acai smoothie. So it's ice, acai sorbet, acai juice, and then our customer wants bee pong in it. <laughs> Well, I thought we could add some of the extras. So we have bee pollen we're going to add. I think we're going to add a little bit of spinach. We might as well. What else do you think would go well with it? Honey, or would that be too sweet? Uh, I think it'd be too sweet. Probably throw some coconut in there. Coconut? Okay. So we'll add some coconut to it. So this is basically one of the bowls just in a blender. Yeah, in a blender. It was something that... Uh Customers would come in, they'd, they'd ask for a, a smoothie, and we just we weren't capable of doing the smoothie in the old business. So now we're trying to, if, if people, enough people come in and ask for a certain thing, we'd, we'd try to do it for them. I like that. And the bee pollen is something that people were asking for too. Yeah, bee, the bee pollen, the goji berries, the toppings that where they're accustomed to um, having in LA um, at their acai joint that they'd go to. So why did you, how did you get so into uh, acai? Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Okay. So yeah. what about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Uh, this is a this is a Brazilian this is a Brazilian um, treat. So so uh, it's it's really big in the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu community. So it's something you could only usually get at a Jiu Jitsu tournament or now in L A and now in Bakersfield. Got it. Now in Bakersfield, all because of this guy. Blend that up. We do have a hungry customer waiting. Drake, who has been um, eating a lot of stuff for us this morning. So again, this is nineteen. 14 Chester Avenue. Uh, this is on the corner of Chester and 19th. It's right next door to Steampunk Fortress. If you've ever um, wandered around the area, you might have seen them before. 
They have new additions along with their acai bowls, smoothies. You can get Hulk juice smoothie, which is a new one, kale, cucumber, apple, coconut water, protein shake as well. They also have their poke bowls and um, some Granville drinks as well. So a lot of stuff to pick from. They've definitely upgraded from the truck they were in earlier. And uh, now we're going to give this to Drake because I think he is uh, calmly waiting for, <laughs> for a little drink. I'm going to come around the front to grab it from you, Justin, so I can hand it to him. Follow me, LJ. Thank you so much. My dear, are you hungry? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> well, here you go. Stick with us. We'll have more from this new location, Rio Acai. Taste it, my dear. And we'll be right back right now, Aaron, back to you. So uh, uh, you know that your favorite truck, Rob, the Acai truck? Yeah, tell them. Around town, we it's no longer there because we relocated to 1914 Chester Avenue, Kalina. which is where we are. And this is Justin. He's still in charge. I think you're talking to me. Are you talking to me? Am I hearing stuff? No, I'm just saying that I, we were there. <laughs> we got an Acai bowl at the, uh, the Ming Farmer's Market yesterday from them. Oh, you did? We and did, he Kalini. He got a, yes. a bowl from you yesterday at the yeah. Farmer's Market. I just missed him. I did not see him. You know My wife. Rob, he already asked about you My this wife. morning. My wife. Her name is <laughs> he was Tatiana. Like, she was, was there. Was Rob there later? His wife was there, not him. So you didn't miss him. You missed yeah, his wife, Rob which was. is still just as important as Rob. Just so everyone more, knows. More important. More important. More important. Eh, we got you. So hey, listen. New location just for you, Rob. So if you're not able to make it to the farmers markets, you can come here instead. Now, the decor in here, very trendy, I would say, kind of hipster. Reminds me of uh, Los Feliz in Los Angeles for whatever reason. So tell me about this whole shebang. Uh, the, we have 26 seats in here, and just the way that the, the building's laid out, we had to do something with this wall so it didn't feel so tight. So uh, Arts Woodwork, a good buddy of mine, he did all the woodwork in here, or to the counters, to this, the corrugated steel. So, and then we have a uh, farmer's market, uh, face painter, uh, Monique. She did all the Ooh, art. She I did the, to ask you about that. Yeah, she did all the art. She did the art in the hallway here. She did our menu board. She did our outside uh, mural in the alley. So if you come through the alley, there's a mural. So, oh. you know, you get, you see that when you come in through our back door. So this used to be a C's candy location. And this also used to be an art gallery. It was an art gallery. The last thing it was, was an art gallery. And then it was vacant for at least three years. Oh, wow. So they've only been open for about three weeks three. or so. He's going to make another bowl for us. You can see how delicious in case you missed the truck, you can um, come here instead, right? This yes. truck's out of service. They're not going to do that anymore. They're just going to make bowls out of here. So new additions, smoothies after you, sir. And then cameraman, go ahead. <laughs> We're running out of time, so make that bowl. Um, which one are you making, by the way? The Brazilian, uh, the, the Brazilian bowl is just the, our standard bowl with granola, strawberry, and banana. Okay, so he's going to make that for us. Rob, I might take it back to you. I'm not sure, though, because it might melt by the time we get back there. But this is, again, 1914 Chester Avenue in downtown. Come say hi to Justin. He will hook you up with something delicious. Smoothie, poke bowls, acai bowls. Got some extras, too, you can throw on there. Um, We'll have more. Stick with us. Kalina, Rob right back right now. Back though, Rob and Aaron, uh, Kalina, back listen, to you. I, Kalina, listen, yeah, listen to yeah. Uncle Rob. Real quick. I don't care if that melts, okay? That is my favorite <laughs> meal in the great city of Bakersfield for like a breakfast enclave. So if you want to bring that back for me, that would put I, a, I, a grand <laughs> smile on my Monday morning face, okay? Yeah, it's not fair. Yeah. She gets okay, to get all the I'll do food. that just for you. I might yeah. add a couple things to it, though. Yeah, don't get kooky do on have, me. Do you, you like the coconut shrimp? Uh, yes. Like coconut coconut, coconut like shrimp? No, just the coconut sprinkles, okay. though, yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to put the coconut sprinkles and then maybe some of that bee pollen. Oh, Kalina, you, you, you bee pollen. I'm a fan uh, of the bee I tell pollen. you what, every time with her. Thank you. <laughs>